Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden, hanging out here today with... Dave Harwood. Welcome to the Geek Group, where today we're doing our second official instructional video in the building. Sweet. Yay. And this is, this is kind of a neat one, I got a cool idea. Okay. We're going to be doing the epoxy in this room, right? Right. So I wanted to try, I, I have no idea if this is going to work, so this is like a project, there will be follow-up videos on this. I wanted to try and have a way to suspend a time-lapse camera up in the middle of the ceiling pointed straight down that'll show like as people like do the floor underneath like like pressure washing and then epoxy look really cool mm -hmm. so i had to figure out a way to do camera platform so this is my quick and dirty suspended camera platform idea okay so today yeah. we're just going to make and hang the platforms okay. because we have those hooks that drop down right, right. remember those well yeah. they have hooks on them. Mm -hmm. so i got a two by two piece of half inch plywood okay and i got some eye bolts and i got some nuts and washers and I got some old school manila rope. <laughs> because why use like really nice aircraft cable if we're just, it's, it's a disposable project. Right. So here's how you do it. Here's how you make a suspended camera platform for the gym here. And it's really high tech. Drill hole. All right, drill the other two. You can just turn it 90 degrees. 90 degrees. So I need this side. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. Okay. okay. Need that. Oh, hey, they come with bolts. But see, I need bolts and washers. Those are called nuts, by the way, not bolts. I'm a trained professional. Of course you are. Here, take a packet of those. And spread your nuts down to the bottom. Like that. Okay? And you'll need those. It's okay, we got extra. Yay. <laughs> All right, so you put on one nut and then a washer. Now, if you look at the washer, you'll see there's the shiny side and the dull side. There's also, if you, if you look, there's a sharp edge and a rounded edge. Yep. And the reason is washers are stamped out of a sheet. Mm -hmm. So put the sharp edge towards the wood. So you put a nut on, throw it all the way down, then a washer. And then we put it down through the wood. And then we put on a washer and a nut. And then just tighten it right down. And if you want to be really nifty, imaginary line from this hole to that hole and line it up to that. Though there's really no point in that other than simple aesthetics. But aesthetics are important. Mm -hmm. Let me put this one in here. Are you done? That's close. All right, 180 the board. And now we do it again. Do, 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 do. We got lock washers too, but I'm not going to bother with those. Manila <laughs> rope. <laughs> I didn't even get nylon. I just I sent them to the store. I was like, I need I need some quarter inch rope, and they come back with Manila rope. Because they're like, do you want aircraft cable? You're hanging stuff from sale. I was like, no, just, just get some plain old rope. I was expecting nylon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That'd be too easy. Uh, okay. So, I'll take that. Here, I got an idea. Take that end. Mm -hmm. And let's find the other end. Because we'll cut this exactly in half. Here, you take. Uh, march that way, please. <laughs> we'll just straighten this out. You're sexy. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. Having, having an issue. Okay, go. Keep going. Stop. All right, now come back. Back up to the in the middle, make a double touch. 
<laughs> All right, now we'll just cut it out at that halfway point. You have a Gerber on you? You have a knife on you? I don't have a Gerber. Why would I have a Gerber? Because you're like the dude around <laughs> here. Yeah, give me your Swiss Army knife. I was going to say, you know how much I get paid here. How do you think I have a Gerber? Oh, see? Well, you get your Gerber. Good edge on that. That tells me Corey's never used it. Mm -hmm. I use a small one. Okay. Now, we'll take, we've got two of these, so we'll take one. I'm going to thread it through there, through there, through there, through there. Now, right now you're thinking, what the hell is he doing? Ish. Watch this. You take this, go all the way through. Now, I just, I just went all the way around one time. Okay. You take this, tie it off in a nice, sturdy figure eight knot, which is by far my favorite knot. A figure eight knot is a 75% knot, so it's pretty much the strongest one there is. Every time you tie a knot in a rope, you reduce the, the rope strength by X percent. Well, a figure eight knot, if you have a rope that'll hold 100 pounds, after you tie a figure eight knot in it, it'll hold 75 pounds. Mm -hmm. So that's really, really good. Uh, a lot of them go down considerably worse. But that's, that's a good knot that you can load and still untie with just fingertips. Mm -hmm. So now we've got a full loop all the way around it, and it goes to here. Mm -hmm. right? Now we take this. We take that. Take that. And this. And we balance them all out, and now our platform will hang level and it's easy to adjust. Okay. Now, would you please lower that? It's pretty cool. That's the right one. Bring her on down. General Badass, come on down. Oh, yeah. Keep going. Well, it's kind of twitchy on this end. Come on down, about three more feet. A little more. Look. Yeah, that's good. Stop there. That's all I need. Okay, would you run it up, please? Sure. I'll hold it out and keep it from catching on desks and whatnot. So annoying. All right, hang on a second. Uh, up. What? Up. Hold it there. All right, that's, yeah. Can you lock it in that position? You're, you're coming down, Dave. <laughs> All right, so that's how it'll sit. Now we can adjust it because that's all one piece of rope, so it's really easy to adjust, but I don't really think we'll have to. We'll just set a laptop on here, we'll run an extension cord off to a plug somewhere, because we won't be able to take this all the way up. Right. But we'll just run an extension cord off for the laptop. Well, why not drill a hole in the middle and put the camera in there? That's, well, the camera's going to sit on this, but there'll be a laptop to capture the video. Right. We're going to do this with a high-def webcam. So, Rich can come along and, and tweak this however it needs tweaking, but I think it's flat enough for what mm -hmm. we're doing, because we're just going to put a webcam, like the webcam probably just clip on the side, pointing down, mm -hmm. and once it's all settled and cool, because we're going to let it run for a day or so before we actually start the shoot, right. so that it won't twist during the time lapse, um, but yeah, that's, that's our camera mount. Awesome. Cool. Well, let's run this up. I'll tell you where to stop so we don't hit the thing. All right.
Stop. That's your spot right there. And now you guys know how to build your suspended camera mount for your own gymnasium. <laughs> you guys have fun. I'm Chris Bowden with the Geek Group. And you gotta say it. It's oh, a thing. Fine, and I'm Dave. All right, and we'll see you guys later. Please remember to rate, comment, subscribe, donate, and call your mom. This video was made possible by a grant from the Future Girl Foundation. This video was made possible by thousands of private donations from members and viewers like you. Please visit thegeekgroup.org for more information on how you can donate and become a part of our dreams of Avalon.